Hey guys, and welcome back to Daily Duel. So today is Tuesday, and that means we are using another tele night deck. So this is the clan, not the clan Stephenson. I hope I'm saying your name right. Uh, Chaos Telenite deck. Even though the only thing that's chaos in here is just running one BLS, so I guess that earns you the title of chaos, um, I guess. So, um, also, you know, new format, of course, so, uh, if you guys want to, be sure to go ahead and continue sending me your Telenite decks. This is fun. Um, it's fun interacting with you guys and, uh, you know, trying out these various Telenite decks, so. He only runs two alphas, open up with those two alphas. Uh, of course, he runs one VLS and open up with the one VLS, so I'll definitely be freaking, uh, uh, freaking, uh, uh, I don't know for that. Uh, for that. Opening? Sure. Don't know what you were on the road for, but I'd rather stop your search. Uh, I'm good. Okay, sure. I'll take the 18 to the face. It's cool. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, of course, I'll be doing the deck profile at the end of this video. But, yeah. Just wanted to go ahead and state that. Uh, uh, be sure to send me your uh, your decks. Like I said, this is his chaos variant. Even though, once again, the only thing that's chaos in here is BLS. And that's not very chaos -y. You got some kind of response to that, sir? Break through skill. Hell fucking no. <laughs> Hell fucking no. Get the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Uh, no, I, what does this card do? You can target one telemonster you control or summon one telemonster with a different name from your dad. I probably should have used that. You know, I don't like this card. I don't like this card at all. Right now, BLS ain't looking too hot either. Oh, okay. I don't care about that. Anyway, let me go ahead and tell you guys about my Monday, because you guys, some of you guys probably wanted to hear about my Monday, so. Oh man. I wanted that. That's cool. I wanted that call to Haunted. Alright, hello? Like a Gemini Spark? Of course that's what it was. Another Rota? No, that's fine. I stopped one, get another one. There ain't three yet, so... Okay. So you're gonna pendulum summon a whole bunch of freaking warriors and stuff? Another upstart, okay. Sure. I don't like this card. I don't see the point of even having this card. Like, there's no point. Alright, you're gonna pend them summon some normal monsters between four and six. No, that's fine. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I said I got this nice juicy dark hole in my hand, so I'm totally prepared to do that. No, that's fine. No, that's fine. Sure, I don't care. Killed an ab, don't care. So what are you gonna do, see? Or are you just gonna leave him like that? Overall, I'm not really impressed by your plays. Anyway, I need to start talking, what the hell? Alright, so, Mondays, of course, I have uh, my education class and uh, women's literature. So, for my uh, education class, Kinda of wondering if I need the dark hole. I wish I didn't have this. I hate this card. Like, whenever, whenever you freaking make a Telenite deck for me, don't put this card in. This card's trash. No. Uh, this card is sent from the field to the bay where you can add one blah blah. blah. Add one dragon warrior or spellcaster normal monster for me. Yeah. I don't really need the dark hole at this current time right now. I'm not too afraid of anything that he's doing right now. So 
especially since he exasperated all of his resources, so I'm pretty chill. So I'm just gonna go ahead and summon the Deneb. Of course, Deneb. Go ahead and search me for Bega. I do that play next turn. Actually, couldn't I do it this turn with this card? I can target one tower I can control, return it, and then I can summon. I could, but it's not completely necessary. Definitely not. Uh What do you do? Once while the server fire, you can't place a one counter against three hundred attack blah 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 blah. Uh, I really don't care. I guess I'll go for Kara Gargan or whatever the fuck his name is. Because he's a nice safe play. I totally don't mind being able to slap something back in your face. Like, hello? Alright. Go ahead, if you take out my Carrot Gargan, then of course I'll be able to summon BLS, and then I have my uh, Deltoros play next turn. Anyway, my education class, boring like usual, I swear to god, the class is like, super boring, like, it's it's too based on emotions and shit, like literally, now we're learning about the history of schooling, it's just like, hello? I don't care, no one cares, why are we in here? <laughs> You, um, well, at least you get lucky. At least I can't uh, attack you with Garagogan or whatever the fuck his name is. Gargle some dick gone or whatever the fuck. <laughs> hate that guy. I hate pronouncing his name. And Deltoros. And we'll do that. I have to go ahead and pop the bigger guy. I worry about your monster right now. I'm the fun resources. I'm chill with it, so you don't have to worry about me. Oh, you're just gonna add another one. That's cute. That's fine though. I said you're playing a whole bunch of normal monsters. I'm not too scared right now. Anyway, of course that's the class with Amish girl, and that girl never ceases to surprise me. Today she just presented herself so. So maturely, I don't, I don't know, I don't know why, but all of a sudden she just seemed so much more mature in my eyes. Her, her outfit was more mature. She held herself more mature. I don't know, I don't know. I, I, I complain about how much she, she, how she acts like a little girl, but sometimes, you know. So you want to go ahead and take that damage to the chin? Just to get your effect? No, it's not even worth it. Go ahead and take all that damage. Upstart again. Okay. You just keep upstarting me. Okay, cool story, bro. Pop the shit out of that back, bro. Oh, Brook Charge. Hi. Pop that. Oh, look at that tree. Ha, huh, you're cute. I mean, it would hurt you more than it hurt me. Oh, I got a chalice in this stupid card, so. I give no fucks. I'm gonna take the duel slow. I'm up on resources and I'm doing fine, so. Go ahead and put him in the extra deck if you want to. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. Tragodia. You're cute. I can make another Deltaros. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. I will. I'll make another Deltaros. Why the fuck not? Deltaros is a goddamn boss. I don't want him to fuck me up with that trag. Even though I have Forbidden Chalice, like Forbidden Chalice Saving Grace. Wow, all I got is one Vega left. Like, hello? It's nothing. Alright. Another Deltaros.
I'm gonna get two pops per turn. Hold that track. I have a feeling that you're gonna try to Exiton me because I'm still up on resources. Going try to copy level four, kind of doing some of that back, make Exiton. So no, 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 no. Sure. Sure. Hey, <laughs> sure. GG. Uh, I guess you didn't really do much, but sure. I'll go ahead and just poke and poke, and of course we'll get another duel in because I'm not even close to done talking. And, uh, be right back. Alright, back on another duel. So yeah, I don't know. Just for some reason she just held herself much more mature. She actually looked like a woman. I don't know. I just, I don't know. She just looked like a woman. I totally don't mind. A woman. I don't want a little girl. Like, sometimes she'd be acting, like, really immature. But, yeah. I didn't even get to hang out with her, actually. Class ended, and she apparently had to go do some work. She just kind of was like, I got work to do. And she just kind of walked off. I was like, oh, okay, yes. So, that sucked. And, and because I didn't hang out with her like I usually do, it caused a lot of other problems that, you know, usually I wouldn't have. So, yeah. Let me, let me move on to those. Okay, now. They don't have a map on you? Summon you, summon you. Make an exiton. Is it necessary to make an exiton though? I mean, here he is up on resources. One, two, three. If I go summon you, summon you, XE. I have one, two, three, four. Didn't he search? Oh, but then he lost his monster. I was like, what the hell? Like, he searched. Like, yeah, but then he lost his monster, so technically he didn't search, so. What's up with me getting this BLS in this fucking opening hand all the damn time? I do not know. Alright. I hadn't started off giving me all tire, of course. So, Battery Man. Interesting deck. I was actually planning on having this deck be on Daily Duels, but uh, Slate's using it, so it's cool. It's because it's something new. Think about taking off Mermaids, but nah, it's cool. Alright, we'll just set the chalice and pass to you. Oh, and Phoenix Chain, of course. Oh, the fact negate. And phase MS Timmy? Nope. Yep. Pretty much the exact same card, so. <laughs> Monarch Storm Fourth should be my Deneb for your charger. Nah, you don't need to plus. No need for you to plus. You're cool. I bet he has honest in his hand. Put money on it. I bet he has honest in his hand. Cause I want to pop that back row, but then of course he might have honest in his hand. That would suck ass if he does, cause I want to pop the back row, and then attack, and then he'll be like honest. I'm like motherfucker. That's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I would still, I would still have many many plays. All right. Delta. So, I'll be wise. I'll pop the back row. Because it might be like D-Prison or something. No, it's just an upstart bluff. Alright. Honest? No, no honest. That's also a pretty convenient surprise. So, because she didn't chill with me, uh, I went to the Yu-Gi-Oh! table. And at the Yu-Gi-Oh! table, you know, we talked about the ban list, we talked about various decks and stuff like that, etc. etc. Oh, you're just gonna quit. Damn it. You know what? I don't have time to do another duel and do the deck profile, so I'm just wrap up my day and then do the deck profile. Alright, why did you have to quit so early? Alright, anyway, I decided to go ahead and go to the Yu Gi Oh table. So, uh, like I said, we talked to stuff. So, I was trying to keep track. I have, I have half an hour before my next class starts. 
So I kept on checking the clock on the wall and checking what time it is. And I just kept on check. I, I quickly glanced at the clock and be like, oh, I got plenty of time. Keep talking, keep chit chatting. Look at the clock. Oh, I got plenty of time still. No, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Then I was the third about the third time that I looked at the clock. I was like, that clock's not working, is it? And they're like. Uh, no. So the clock is literally sitting, I think, about at like 10.45, 10.35, 10 10.45, literally just sitting there. And every time I looked back, I didn't notice it until like the third time I looked. I was like, what time is it? And it was like 45 minutes into my women's literature class. I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to go to women's literature. I would literally be 45 minutes late. That would just be awkward as hell. I'm not going to walk into there. So I, I ended up ditching women's literature. On accident. It wasn't even intentional. Totally on accident. I was planning on going to class. I just happened to miss it. <laughs> uh, I'm terrible, aren't I? So, overall, my Monday was easy. I only had one class. And then the rest of the day, I got to just chill. Um, anyway, that's pretty much all my Monday is. Uh, good news. Uh, uh, trying to take it slow. So, uh, we had a take-home calculus test. So I finished my calculus test and I decided to go ahead and text uh, calculus girl and ask her how she's doing. So she didn't text me for forever and I was just like, well, uh, me being the pessimist I am, probably I'm like, yeah, she probably gave me a fake number. Because bitches will do that. Bitches will give you a fake number. Instead of instead of saying, no, thank you, I don't want to give you my number, they'll, be, they'll try to be nice and give you a fake number, and then, which is even more of a dick move, but they think that they're being nice and it's just like, bitches be crazy, like I swear. Like, bitches be crazy. And all you have to do is say, no, thank you, but no, you, you, you can't because you work on emotion and you don't work on damn logic. Any logical person would have been like, no, I don't want you to have my number, therefore I'm not going to give it to you. And guy would have been like, okay, fine, cool, all right? But girls think, that, you know, give fucking men like a fa false hope, false hope, like, oh, here, here's my number. And they'll be like, yes, I got her number. Yeah, I'm going to call her, I'm going to text her, I'm going to get the number, I'm going to get some of that. And then the number ends up being fake. And it's just like, why? Why why you gotta do that? Why you gotta be a bitch? Like, you don't gotta be a bitch. You gotta just be, just be understanding with me. You don't got to be a bitch. You choose to be a bitch. And you think that you're being nice and not trying to hurt my feelings, but you know, you don't think of how, I'm, how I feel when I figure out that you gave me a fucking fake number. You don't think about that. All you think about is the here and now. Anyway, you probably were thinking like, so the way that you're ranting about this, she gave you a fake number. Actually, no. Uh, pretty much she was busy all day and she finally texted me back and she said that she did not get started on the um, the calculus test and she's been busy all day and she was work planning on working on it when she gets home but she's just been busy and you know, it's understandable so me being the fucking sly guy I am I was like well you know I'm not too busy and if you're not busy as well I, don't, I totally don't mind staying after class and helping you with the calculus take home test you know you know, just to get to spend more time with her, but also so I can go ahead and help her. I'm fairly confident in my answers, but uh, no. Maybe I missed something that maybe she can catch on. I'm not sure. He said I'm not sure how smart. I really don't know how smart she is in calculus, but uh, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> so, uh, you know, she accepts, then I guess I'll be uh, staying after class a little bit later and going ahead and helping her. Uh, Besides that, everything's pretty chill with my life. Uh, besides YouTube taking fucking forever to upload for some god awful reason, like up, I'll, I'll record like a five minute video and it'll take like an hour to upload. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like, but I check my fucking uh, when I check uh, my actual upload speed, it's like totally fine. But for some odd reason, YouTube is just being a dick. Like, I hate YouTube sometimes. Ah, uh, so this this video that you're seeing now will probably take like a millennium to upload because it's probably like 20 minutes plus. But hey, what you gonna do? Alright, so uh, there it is, there's my Monday, so let me go ahead and do the deck profile and end this video. Be right back. Alright, so here is uh, the clan's uh, chaos tonight, even though once again, the only chaos in here is just one BLS, you know, I thought you would at least throw in the two chaos sorcerers, but nope. And I, I was clearly having a hard time with that anyway, one BLS, uh, three Altair, three Vega, three Deneb, one Honest. Three Kage to Kage. It was actually uh, two, and he has Sirius, but of course Sirius isn't out yet, so I just bumped up to Kage, which is fine. Uh, and two Monk. Uh, two Red, of course, but that will be going up to uh, three. Oh, it is actually updated to the new list. I did not notice that. I was like, wait, why isn't there a two on the Rota? Well, because it is. Okay. I'm to myself. It's updated to the new list. That was quick. 
uh, one dark hole. I know, well, I know we're gagging. I didn't know what was upgraded to the new list, but you know, neither did he. Did he know when this uh, deck profile was posted, of course? So yeah, like I said, we got a whole new format. So guys, be sure to you know, you don't have to go to the other video. The ten, I mean, the link is in the description. You can go ahead and go there and put the deck profile. Or you can just do it in this video. But uh, go ahead and give me your deck profiles. Of course, the one soul charge. And that's funny because he had one soul charge even before he went down to one. So that's good. Two pots, I'm not a big fan of pot in here, but I guess. The MSTs, fuck this card. Only one lance and one chalice, like what's up with that? And I got him, I got the chalice, like hello? Like, once again, number generator, one, 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 one. Like, I, what, I got, I got like, I got you and you and just lots of cards that are ran at one in here that I got. Uh, the bottomless, the torrental, the 1D prison, I don't know why like, 1D prison, three fiendish chains, two calls, Two alphas, well, two uh, novas, and uh, one solemn morning. Uh, the extra deck is pretty much basic extra deck. He didn't put an extra deck, so I just throw in whatever. So, three Deltaros, one Ouroboros, one Omega, two Castells, one 101, one Exiton, one Dweller, one Cowboy, one Emerald, one Kragnal, Karagargon, or whatever the fuck is. Karen Gar Gorgon, Kar Karen Gorgon, Novo Chain, and one Rhapsody. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So, uh, once again, I don't understand how it's chaos. You put in BLS and all of a sudden it gets a title of chaos. I don't, uh, I don't know. I don't feel like, you know, if you were going to go full on chaos, I thought you were going to run like three Kage's and three Photon, uh, the butterfly guy who is also dark, then run BLS with the two chaos sorcerers and uh, uh, chaos. Just throwing one BLS. Oh, it's chaos now. Like, okay, sure. Uh, of course, three Rota. I'll definitely be playing three to Rota. Um, Dark Hole, I guess, will be switched with Thargeki, I guess, I don't know, Soul Charge, yeah. Fuck Pot, not really a big fan of it in this deck. Uh, this deck is consistent enough, especially with 3 Rota, so it doesn't really need a 2 Pot. Um, fuck this card, I don't like this card, I like this card, and this card is good. Uh, I don't like how we're missing Compulse, because I love Compulse, and Compulse is better than this and this, this format, so... I don't know why Compulse is missing, only one D-Prison, which is just weird, I'm so proud I didn't get that. Because it's that one. Anyway, this deck is okay. Like I said, I really didn't learn anything new from it, but yeah. So, uh, yeah, new format, so let's go ahead and make some new Telenite deck. So we're going to keep on having fun. This is fun, this is fun. You know, Tuesday's Telenite deck, you guys make me a deck, I go ahead and play it, we do the deck profile, this is fun. I like this. Uh, you know, and maybe I can get some points and, and tips from uh, uh, for my uh, Constellar Knight deck that I'm making. Uh, right now, in my Constellar deck, I am running three Altaria, three Deneb, and only one Draco, so only seven monsters, so I'm actually, I actually cut down the Nova down to two, instead of three, because I didn't want it to clog, also I'm running the World of Kree, so I don't want it to clog, so, trying that out, um, besides that, this deck was pretty good, and, uh, this video is pretty good, alright, so, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels, so thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow using Mermails. That deck will not die. Like I said, I'm planning on placing my mouth with something, but at this point, I just don't know what. Like I said, I was planning on doing battery men, but of course, Slate's doing battery men, so no battery men. Uh, so, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys uh, tomorrow with my mouse. Thanks for watching.